And now for the Rude Boys rant. On the scene again, and thing. This is uh, the dirty immigrant. This is Scotland. Yes, I. You know what I mean. Are we going to pop down another podcast here for you and thing? You know the rude boys rant. I uh, hope you guys have a good what week or whatever yeah. it is from here. Oh, hope yeah. your summer started off uh, good. It's going to be a hot one. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a burning up one. And but but there's snow falling in certain parts of the country. There are yeah. Oh exactly. I had, um I'm going to get a chance to go out to Uray, Colorado later yeah. this year with my parents. Looked it up to show Jake where I was going to be. Weather forecast today, 28 degrees and snow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, it is still late May out yeah. there, so they could use that. They're in the Rockies, but, you know. Now, did you see that Antarctica registered the highest uh, temperature? Uh, what, did it hit zero? Ever, no, uh, <laughs> 84 kidding. degrees. 84? 84 degrees in Must Antarctica. Be, yeah, one of the outskirts then, because obviously not the middle of the continent. Uh, but. Pretty much in the, uh, way in there. This, that stuff is melting almost mm-hmm. coast. <laughs> 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 that stuff is melting so uh, fast, you know what I mean? Even my little island in Grenada, we starting to get worried about the rising sea level. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? One little thing. Y'all, the people here complaining about illegal immigrants coming in, mm-hmm. migrants coming across the border, blam, 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 and all of that. They should go to Trinidad. Them Venezuelans are coming in, and they're going into like the jungle parts of well, it. Well, it looks like Venezuelans are trying to go anywhere that they can dude, right now. Dude, they are, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they're coming into my country yet, because mm-hmm. my country's a little bit further up. Yeah. There's Venezuela, the South American uh, continent, I guess you yeah, call it. Yeah, and yeah. then there's Trinidad. And then there's my country. Well, you've got some water in between. Then you've got yeah. Trinidad, but, yeah, but I not that far away. I used to go to Venezuela. All no, the I'm saying not that far yeah. away. You know, they don't they don't border right next to each other. Yeah. It's not like somebody from here crossing over yeah, into yeah, Ohio. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no. You, yeah. You, you, you have to. Well, it's, you have to go through waters. Do you guys yeah. remember when all the Haitians and the Cubans were coming over on rafts and mm-hmm. stuff? That's what's happening. Yeah, it's it's and it's mainly well, women and children. Well, you know, everybody wants to get so mad about. You know, immigrants and this and all that, and my, you know, but if people could stop screwing up, like leadership and things like that, wherever yeah. they're from, yeah, people wouldn't be trying to escape everywhere, because you know, look, people, people to a degree, I feel like the majority of people like to stay where they're from. Oh yeah, and so. They don't want to leave where they're from, even if things aren't that great. They still yeah. don't really want to leave there, yeah. but things have gotten so bad in some places. They have no choice. They, yeah, exactly. They have yeah, no here's choice. Here's the thing, though. I, 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 and, and for, I, I totally get where you're coming from, but it's to a point where, and I haven't lived it myself. Okay, I'll give you a perfect example. Mm. I hear people saying, stay in your country. You know what I mean? Take care of yourself. And then when you do... A big country come and says, that's not the way you should do it. Do it our yeah. way. We yeah. want to invade you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's everywhere. what I'm saying, just basically leadership people. Yeah. You know what you I know. mean? And a lot of people don't understand that. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. we had our revolution. You know what I mean? Granted, we wasn't doing great. Yeah. But we did something. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You didn't do it the way we say, so we're going to yeah. come and show you how to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? China does it, Russia does it, America does it, Mm -hmm. uh, England did it a lot back in the day. Well, yeah, I mean, think about how many countries used to own territories all around the world. Yeah. Portugal used to be one of the big ones. Spain, France, England. I mean, they they all owned territories that were not, you know, obviously bordering Uh, their own country. People like, like France just gave back, oh, man, what country was it? Was it Kenya? Some other, some African country. Mm-hmm. They just gave back stuff to them that they took. They pillaged the stuff and took it. <laughs> Do you remember when Utah Jeez. was here? And yeah. we, well, I, I told you we went to the to a museum in Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. and there were prints, like uh, print making prints. And Utah was standing there like he was tearing up, and he said, "Yeah, those are ours, but we haven't seen it in years." Yeah. Oh yeah. They took that stuff during mm-hmm. the, during the whole conflict. Yeah. You know and. Yeah, yeah, 
But anyway, this car podcast, <laughs> <laughs> today we are going to take some time. Like, as you guys know, we've spoke to, spoken about it on other podcasts and stuff. We do have our actual radio show, and it is called The Road Boys, too, where we do a rant. But we also, and of course, you guys have heard some of it and well, during the Wednesday Rewind. You know, you guys have heard some of the old shows. And uh, we play music there, too. Which we kind of the do. majority of that sh- of that show is music. Is music, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I wish we could do that here because mm-hmm. I think the music helped with what we're trying to talk about. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But if you want to do that, if you want to listen to that show, it's, it's uh, every Saturday night, unless we say it differently. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's on WMUL, which is a college radio station. Uh, www.marshall.edu slash WMUL. Yeah, and that's the best way since we can be doing it to a broad audience. Yeah. The best way to do it yeah. on the net. There's a radio dial for it too, but Yeah, but it's you pretty, have to be yeah. pretty much right here. Right in this, here, to right here it, in this you know immediate I mean? area. So we do music and stuff on there. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we talk about the music we play on there mm-hmm. too. Like, and we can sort of compare it to what we listen to today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, dude but, 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 hey. Speaking of the music we play, the new Joyner, Joyner Lucas, what do you think of him? I didn't have a chance to listen to that yet. I've I've heard some of his stuff before, and it's I feel like it's hit or miss because sometimes I really don't care for his flow and the way he does it. Yeah. Other times I think there's a little too much anger in this, yeah. you know, that it's – you know, for for the point that he's trying to get across, yeah. like, okay, the way you're kind of doing this, you're going to shut some people off before yeah. they before they even get to your point. Um, but as far as his lyrical content, I feel like it's heads and shoulders above some of these others. Oh yeah, Have because you the because he, one, uh, no, no, that's what I'm saying. I haven't the one you just sent me. I no, haven't not had a chance that to one. Nah, Devil's Work. No, that's well, a pretty I, decent okay. one. I really don't go on the internet trying to look for new music. I because I feel like I get disappointed yeah. way too often. Yeah. So yeah. the funny thing is about it is I was looking up British rap music, which yeah. mainly is conscious music. Yeah. And his pop up. That's mm-hmm. how I got to see his. Yeah. Which is kinda ironic that it, it came up that way. But mm-hmm. I, I like the devil's work. He doesn't curse a whole lot in it. He doesn't use the That's a N word a whole a lot in it. And some uh, of his other stuff that flow, I've heard, I, I keep is thinking. A lot than his older yeah. stuff. Some of his other stuff that I've heard, I keep thinking, man, I'm not going to try and edit that song. Yeah. I'm going to sit here for an hour. Nah, <laughs> and, and even the one that I sent you, he didn't so much. Mm-hmm. And he also has got a white dude in there that's really spitting it, too. I've heard that name before. I just don't remember what it is yeah. right now. Yeah, um, he's, he's, he's decent. Yeah. And, and yet, the, the music have gotten weird, dude. And not even so you're the, talking about the music itself, in, like as far not, as not his, like, no, no, I'm general. talking about the beat. Are you talking about the beats beat, the or song, just the okay, melody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, what is going on here? It's like sirens, you know, those <sighs> sirens are singing with you know, bamboozle yeah. people. Yeah, make you smash into rocks. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I mean, it's, I was like, Whoa. dude, when I saw that you posted that new one with that's supposed to be that run tree or whatever the fudge it's called, that mix of rap and country. Oh, you're talking about the old country road? Yeah. With uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, I'm and, uh, sorry. We are not playing that song on our show. <laughs> that song is terrible. Um, <laughs> I, would, I, I will say this. I had not even heard the song yet, but we were down in Miami playing a series down there at FIU. And I, I guess the song the song came on, and like I said, I hadn't heard it before. So to yeah. me, it was just another you know, garbage one that was getting played in the background. And... All the coaches just went, oh, God, not this one. And I said, what? And they go, and they said, this is that new one with, what's his name? And Billy. Wait, Little Nas. Well, yeah, whatever. And uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. And I said, oh, this is the song everybody's talking about? And yeah, you haven't heard it yet. And I said, maybe I have, but I'm not really paying attention to some of this stuff because I just think it, it all sucks. But um, they go, yeah, uh, you make sure to tell our marketing people that if they try to play that song in our games, we're going to start a riot. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately for our next home game, I forgot to tell them. And so one of the marketing guys, he started playing it, and I was like, ah, hey, so this is my fault for not telling you ahead of time. Please never play this song again. And I told him why, and he goes, oh, okay. And he shut it off, and he started another one up. And 
So then, when when the uh, next... I bet the girls go what? Oh no, no 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 no! I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they cared. They didn't seem to mind, and the coaches were definitely happy that it got shut off. But um, and then another one of the other marketing guys, they were there the next day, and so I told him, and he goes, "Yeah, he told me about it." He goes, "He goes, I'm just not happy about that because I really like that song." And I said, "Yeah, well, our coaches said that they're going to start a riot if you play it, so don't." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you well, know? you know, there's a serious side to that song. Here's uh, just uh, what's going on around it. Mm-hmm. Number one, they, they they heard it was Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. They yanked it off the country charts when they realized, wait a minute, it's one of them that are black music. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus, isn't he the one that helped broaden a whole bunch of country to people with that achy, breaky heart? Exactly. Stuff? But you yeah. know, but you see, that's the thing. We could we could make you like our stuff, but no. Uh-huh. But hold on, it gets better. Uh they yank it off of it. No, the song was popular before Billy Ray Cyrus uh, got into it. The song was popular, and then that's a remix. The Billy Ray Cyrus one is a remix. Okay. That's not even the original song. Okay. So in Nashville, they have up a big billboard in Nashville. Congratulations, Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> On your, your success. And in little, little, little tiny letters, it's a little Nas. It's little Nas' song. Yeah, okay. It's Little Nas song. Yeah. But yeah, congratulations. And they don't even have a picture of Little Nas on no, there. Of course it's just they Billy don't. Ray Cyrus up there. Of course they don't. And on top of that, on top of that, which I have on one right now, Wrangler Jeans. People mm-hmm. are like, I can't believe Wrangler Jeans let them sing that song, you know, and I'll never use it again. I'll oh, go home and burn geez. my jeans, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah that's <laughs> another one when people want to burn their stuff. I'm like, look, you paid money for <laughs> that, man. Come and on. And it's expensive. I'm wearing one right uh, now. Yeah, they're not cheap. Yeah, go burn it because hey. the immigrant is wearing one. <laughs> yeah. I had to try and convince a friend of mine not to burn his Brett Favre jersey when yeah. he ended up at the Vikings. I'm like, I know you're going to want to wear that five years after he retires when, when he's in Canton. Yeah. We go to Canton when Brett Favre went in. He says, hey, thank you for talking me out of this. I'm like, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, but see, pe- people are so quick to, oh, I'll never do that again because of this, or I'll never use this again because of that. And I'm like, oh, stop. Yeah, it. you know, it's, it's kind of like this. I'll never drink again, and the next week they're drunk and stumbling well, down the street. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of the same. I don't, yeah, I don't know concept. how many times I've heard that. Somebody yeah. comes back and is like, oh, my God, I just, last but, night, know, oh, I'm never doing that again. Two nights later, hey, man, you going out? Yeah. Whatever. No, the music we play on our show is we, we, we have the uplifting music. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the revolutionary music. Yeah. And then we have Lovers uh, Rock. Lovers Rock. Oh yeah. And every once and we once have in so a much of that. <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while we have the Dutty Hour. Yeah. We play Dutty music. We haven't done that in a long time. In a long time. And, you, you know, know what honestly, I, mean? I haven't really been feeling doing no, that one no, in a long time. No, no. Because the songs have gotten more and more explicit. It's not like what we yeah. used to play where it's yeah. hidden and you yeah. gotta figure it she out. And it's me funny. To yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the thing, you know. <laughs> you know, the now garage she really clean. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time you played that song. I think I spent half of it probably just tears coming out of my eyes because I was laughing so hard. Yeah, you know, but, and that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. You know? But no, man, I listen to some of that stuff. Oh, and it's, it's disgusting. Like, it's disgusting. I, I mean, you, you feel like you need to go take a shower you know after you mean? listen to it because In it's bleach. so filthy. Yeah. <laughs> you I, mean, know? I mean, I know I've said this before. I don't know whether or not I've said it on podcasts or just on our show, but... Um, actually, I might have said it last time when I was talking about how we needed to talk to some of the girls, you know, yeah, about yeah. why about why they listen to some of the stuff that they do. And, you know, I mean, some of them who try to act like they're all churchy and everything. And oh, then you play man. some of that stuff and you just go, oh, my, I think you all need to go to church after listening to this. I need to go to church after no. you just played this. After you play that, you need to go to heaven and oh, come back. My go to heaven and get God. real cleaned out. Ooh. Because church Man. ain't going to help you. It's over, sister. You need to go to heaven for help. Wow. <laughs> I mean, some of that stuff, like you said, the, the, the explicitness of it is just, yeah. whoa. And I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I even think back to a song that Tupac has at the end of uh, the first disc, All Eyes on Me. And this is actually a song that typically if I'm listening to the album, I'm just going to skip. I don't really care for it. It's basically a dirty phone call. Yeah. And even when I listen to some of that, I go, okay, this was a song that never obviously got released as a single. I feel like now somebody would try and do it. Oh, yeah. That they would, t- I mean, and this song is disgusting. Yeah. I mean, it is, It like I said, it is, it's pretty much a phone conversation between him and a girl with a beat in the background. And you listen to some of the things they say to each other, and you're just going, oh, my goodness. And... 
But I'm telling you, now somebody would try to actually turn that into, and it would get regular radio play. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, Whoa. Oh, yeah. You Whoa. know what I mean? And, uh, but, I mean, I mean, look, okay, we're not trying to sound like a couple old prudes here or anything like that. You I know? didn't listen to that kind of stuff when I was younger either. So, Well, you know, and of course, for me growing up, you hear the songs like, you know, it was a cherry pie. I don't know who did that yeah. one because I can't differentiate some of those hair metal bands from the 80s. But you even have a song like that, where at that time, that was considered disgusting and dirty. But if you compared it to the stuff now, you would go, wow, that song's pretty wholesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I could listen to this in church. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I mean, the fact that it used to be the Doors got banned from ever going back on the Sullivan's show. For grinding. No, no, not grinding, because he said higher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. He, cause he said higher. That was Elvis. That yeah, that was true. Elvis doing the grinding, yeah, but because Jim Morrison refused to edit his own song and not say higher. Yeah. Okay, you, you got taken off the Ed Sullivan show because you said higher. The stuff now, whoa. I know, man. I mean, how far have we come? All cloaked under the uh, the freedom of speech stuff. You know, I hear and something. And that's the thing, none of it's really cloaked. I know. <laughs> okay, and here's another thing. Don't we talk about this before, too? Uh, which is one reason why we don't use music that uses a lot of the N word. Mm-hmm. I'm on the bus the other day, right? Going to work, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? This white dude gets on the bus, mm-hmm. sits back there. It's two white kids. Uh, I call them kids because, you know, they're young, way younger than me. But anyway, all of a sudden, he start putting on rap music. Uh-huh. And it's the out, and la- this, out loud and that you could hear. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the whole bus. And okay. this and that. And then he looks at me and go, and please. Whoa. Because it's in the song. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I can't get angry at him. Mm-hmm. He's pleased to listen to the words. No, mu- as much as I don't want him to say that to me. Yeah, yeah. The brothers are commercial. They commercialize the word. So well, you, th- you and I have heard how many times that we've heard a young African American even calling white people exactly. That. You know what I mean. Yeah, and all they call all white people that too mm-hmm. when they get angry at them. You know well, what I mean? Well, I'm I'm saying young, obviously, because what I've been around here yeah. at the university. You know what I mean? And, and not just when they're angry too either. You know, I hear to call all white people that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, and yeah, and he's just and, like, of, co- and, of, cor- and of course for a white person, if they get called that, they're going, "Oh, I yeah. am so cool! Uh, oh, I am so cool I'm now. now! I've been home sliced." Yeah. <laughs> But you know, and well, and then obviously, too, we also edit our stuff, yeah. And I know sometimes, even some stuff that is supposed to be edited, it's like they're letting that word slip by, they're letting other words slip by, and you're just kind of going, Ah, I I, I was trying to look through some new R&B stuff, and uh, you know, you want to talk to a lady, you want to talk to her, you want to be smooth. And uh, and then there's this stuff. <laughs> and then there's curse words in it. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Are you going to effing do this with me? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you want to go to effing dinner or something? Yeah. How is that, how is yeah. that, how is that romantic? You know what I mean? You know, but you see, check this out, though. Maybe we are a couple old fuddy duddies. I, I don't know <laughs> if it's, but you see, that's the thing. A lot of mm-hmm. women don't really like that. Yeah, even the young ones who, you know, you know who act up like that. Yeah. They, because, we, like we say, look who they all end up marrying. Mm-hmm. Not people who say stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but, th- but unfortunately that comes later. Who are yeah. they spending all their time with now? You know, the still, ones who talk to them like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, I, and, and this is like culture. For, okay, there's this, this uh, young lady at work, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a brother who is from up north. He came through the line and he, he he mumbled something. She said, "What are you saying?" He mumbled again. She said, "Just walk over here and tell me." And uh, he said, "I just want to eat." Blah 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 blah. Oh wow! And she, insert your she, own she, blah she, blah blah. She was blah nineteen, there. and she and she that disgusted her. She's like, "Oh my god!" You know, and she's wow. not she's not a prude by any stretch of the imagination. Mm-hmm. You know, she's not little Miss Giddy Giddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that just totally, you know. Uh, yeah, and then when we well, explain it to another one, and she's well, like, that oh, might go know. back to our misogyny episode where guys think they can just go say whatever they want to a girl. Well, but you see, the, the, here's that he said that to her, but to the other la- young lady, he didn't say the same thing to her. He was uh, like respectful, which I don't understand. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe he didn't think she was as attractive. I don't know. No, no, because well, I ain't gonna even uh, judge that <laughs> because they probably <laughs> listen to that. You know, <laughs> so you're both attractive ladies. <laughs> I don't know either one of you, so. 
<laughs> but uh, and, and 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 is it what I want to know? Is it the music influencing them or them influencing the music? I always think it's kind of a little mix of both because, okay, obviously once gangster rap started to come out, gangs weren't a new thing, yeah, right? Yeah. That had been going on. And so it just made its way into the music, which then unfortunately does influence people after that. So I think it's a mix. You've got people who are just kind of like that anyway, no matter which vat you want to talk about. Yeah. And then, so then it makes its way into the music to then it influences other people who, you know, I, I hate to say, maybe can't think for themselves. So they get influenced easily by whatever it is that they're listening yeah. to. I mean, look, okay. I got it. I loved listening to gangster rap, especially when I was in high school and stuff like that. And for me, it was an anger release. But I never thought about, man, I got to go be in a gang. Man, you know, while I'm driving my driving my Galaxy, I I need to have a gun under my seat. You know, I need to be, you know, you got to be riding uh, dirty. Yeah, no, that, that stuff never crossed my mind. Like, yes, I was listening to it, but I didn't want to be it. So. Okay, it didn't influence me. Yeah. But there might be but I I definitely know some other people that it did influence. They went from little suburbia dude to suddenly thinking they're a gangster. I'm like, "Come on, please stop." They it, went from you suburbia know? dude to Slim Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it, and it was it was it was really annoying. Cuz it's not even real anyway. Yeah, it it was it was really bad and annoying, but you know, so so I think it's a mixture of both. Yeah. Because obviously like I said, at using gangster rap as an example, that stuff already existed. That life was already being lived by unfortunately numerous people. And then it made its way into music. Which then influences other people. Yeah. So I th I think it's both. So I even so even the dirty a bunch talk. Of suburban white kids. Well, yeah, and <clears throat> exactly. And so as far as people who talk dirty, we've already had that from oh, yeah, probably a millennia. Richard, you know, one of them is to sing dirty heck, stuff even like for, even for millennia, people have yeah. been probably talking dirty to each other since we first figured out how to talk. Yeah. You know. And God knows Beethoven was thinking a little, you know, vibe when he was doing this. Probably. His, uh, I mean, uh, can conchatas I mean, and there, stuff there, like that. There's a, uh, there, there's, there's a quote from Stephen Hawking at the beginning of a Pink Floyd song. And, you know, he, he says, you know, for years, human beings lived just like the animals. And then something happened that unleashed our imagination. We learned to talk. People probably have been talking. That's what yeah, I'm people have yeah. probably been talking dirty ever since then. It's just now it's also linked to the music, yeah, more so. And so now you get other people who are now being influenced by that. So I, I definitely, th I definitely think it's both. Here's another thing too. They think it's only men talking like that. No, I to, so oh, I, I went through a bunch gosh. of female rappers. Oh yeah. Oh, that that's one where I feel like sometimes female rappers and also female comedians feel like they have to be more disgusting than guys to try and get somebody to listen to them. I'm like, man, is that really necessary? I end up, you know, okay, if if I see something come up of a female comedian and I start hearing some of that nasty stuff, man, I, I shut it off. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm not even a big fan of male comedians yeah. talking like that. Yeah. I mean, okay, I've got Robin Williams live on Broadway. Some of that stuff's pretty disgusting. Well. Okay, let me sit through it for these couple minutes until it gets to the next part, which yeah. I think is hilarious. And he's no longer talking that gross stuff. So I'm, I'm, to me, I'm just not a fan of. I mean, I've never even really talked about stuff like that with my friends. I've yeah. never brought up my own private, intimate life. Yeah, I've never even talked to you about I it. Do it the same way. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't know. You know, I, 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 I've, I've. To me, it's like this. Okay. First of all, that's my own private life. Why do I need to discuss that with yeah. anybody? And then, unfortunately, when I got here to Marshall, my roommate, my freshman year, Earl, he felt like I needed to hear all of his nasty yeah. stories. Yeah. And I, I used to get so mad, especially when he'd come back to the room and wake me up to tell me about some girl. And and I said, man, why do you have to tell me this? And he goes, man, you're my roommate. You're supposed to want to know this. I said, first of all, you show me that rule, and I'm still going to fight you on it. Yeah. It's like, second of all, even if I did want to hear it, could it just still wait till morning, please? Yeah. Why do you have to come wake me up in the middle of the yeah. night? I just got to sleep, and now I'm going to have nightmares. I kind of had a brother like that. Yeah, I Not I've, the preacher one, the other one. Yeah, well, I, I've, never, I've never, I guess, really stayed friends for very long with people who talk like that on yeah. a regular basis yeah. a lot. You know? I have no choice but to stay brother. 
<laughs> no, no. I, 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 I watched this one female video, right? And uh, yeah, okay. she's just like she's the biggest B, and she's this and she's that. Is it Cardi B? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, this this okay. is an unknown one. Uh, oh. This is underground, I guess. Okay, she's probably wishing she was Cardi B. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but dude, she's talking about how she's gangster and she'll shoot him up and she'll yeah. do this. But she's driving around in a car with a top down wearing a, a, a lingerie, a, a Victoria's Secret thing. Who goes out shooting anybody wearing lingerie? <laughs> Yeah, she'll, you know, she'll be the first. And acting all sexy and stuff. Until bang bang. Yeah, well, no, even do the bang 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 bang. And she looks yeah. sexy bang bang. And <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks like, Lord. You know, and then they're talking about dudes, like the dudes talk about them. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do it. But, but you see that the problem with that is they're not doing gangster dudes like that. Alpha, idiot alpha males like that. They're doing yeah. nice guys like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, quote unquote nice guys, because mm -hmm. we're far and few between anymore. Because most of us are fed up knowing you like you uh -huh. up here, take that and shove it. You know what yep, I mean? Yep, yep, but yep. Uh, and mm -hmm. here's the thing that it's disgusting. You see these women with their bum full of silicone, putty, mud, rubber, whatever it is they put in <laughs> their bum to make it look uh, bigger and, or jello. You know hey, what I mean? Don't use that to fill in the dent on my car. Put it in my butt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, use that putty for some good reason, man. <laughs> You can leave a good handprint when you smack my bum. If you use putty, <laughs> I mean, hey, don't ba don't back into the wall or anything too hard because yeah. because that stuff can fall out of a car too if I'm it so wasn't I put in right. I'm sorry, people. All that jingling and all of that—that that is not attractive. <laughs> That is not attractive. All uh. that jiggling, they all jiggling and smacking each other on the butt. Yeah, yeah. And guys just go, dude, those bums ain't real. What are you going crazy over? You could see too. Well, they used to go crazy over all the fake I boobs just, too. I'm not going crazy over that thing. I like my stuff natural. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, before we go out, can I see your medical history, yeah, yeah. please? Hey, you know what I mean. There's, I a have, There's a few things I want. I want a baby picture. If you have you in, ever visited a plastic surgeon? And if you say yes, was it because you were in a car accident and something bad happened? This or, might sound know. misogynistic, but I'm checking for scars. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, and then they're gonna what's say, this one? I fell out of a jungle gym when I was five. Okay. They, they're going to say that's body. <laughs> and then if they fall out of a jungle gym, I'm going to say, well, let me see if you're wearing blue when you was a baby. <laughs> Because those cars could mean anything nowadays. <laughs> <sighs> but, uh, and you know. People do like to lie. They love to lie, man, I'm telling you. See, what you see is what you get with me, man. You know, that's it, you know. And I, I know I know, tattooing and stuff is the big deal now. And this ain't got nothing to do with my age or nothing like that. Because old guys love that stuff, too. Mm -hmm. I just think natural is the best way to go. Yeah. Yeah, no, stop wearing the... Brazilian woman's hair. Stop wearing the, the the East Indian woman's hair. You know, let the natty show. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, all these women they got these long, flowing, straight hair, uh -huh. and they always play that with it theirs. and stuff. And even you see, like, even uh, white girls, even white girls. Well, yeah, but you know, they, they could play with their stuff. Their stuff. No, 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 no. I'm saying even white girls wearing somebody else's hair to do that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, she, there's a little girl yeah. that comes into the store or what can she saw? One time she's blonde, one time she's black, one time she's blue, one time she's yellow. I'm not going to say who the, I'm not going to say who this was, but during our softball team photo shoot, one of the girls getting her pictures done, the guy who's taking the photos, he said he said, "Hey, you know, give your give your hair a good flip or whatever." And she said, "No, I can't do that cuz it's not mine." <laughs> and it was a white girl. And I just said, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> wow. And, and he stopped me. What? And she goes, yeah, it's not mine. I can't See, do that. That's what the video, the, the music videos are making them want all to have the what they're not. Mm -hmm. And they all want to be like strippers and stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I don't mind strippers. Don't get me wrong. I've never been to a strip club. Me neither. I have no intentions to go, not because of the women, because I think, I honestly think that a lot of women are, is just a job. Well, it's just with the way the men I, I, talk and well, act to them. That, I don't want to be part of that. That's the thing. I like what my dad says about that because, especially when you see it advertised as a gentleman's club. Yeah. My dad goes, "That's kind of funny because I bet you there's not a single gentleman in there." Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of poor sitting there yeah. you know, watching watching a uh, putty butt flap. <laughs> <laughs> 
I used the same stuff on my car last week. You know week. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Had to I... fill a hole in the wall yesterday with that. You're going to be warm in winter, girl. <laughs> Some good. <laughs> Some good insulation with that putty, boy. <laughs> you know? You know, and. How can you wear know. those small shorts? It's 20 degrees outside. I don't feel it. How can we get good music like Joe Mesa just had a good one, you know? How, it's called Burn This Whole Thing Down Entirely mm-hmm. because Babylon Must Fall, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or Skip Marley saying, you know, about the good things that people could do and mm-hmm. the good things that, that, that people are doing. And uh, well, it seems tell, like, me, uh, tell me that's not true, you know? Well, what it mean? seems like most of it as far as good, as far as good positive lyrics, it's coming from reggae. Yeah. Because I'm really not hearing it from anywhere else. And it's Bo funny. Banton has got a new one called Sell Out. It's talking about how they're selling out Jamaica. All right. Got to hear that. I got to hear I'm gonna that. I'm going to get them for the uh, Safra Saturday, people. Okay. We're going to be on Saturday, this Saturday. Um, know, well, yeah, you ain't going to yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's going up Monday. Eventually, Saturday, you'll be able to hear it at some point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, like, and you know, and the thing is, pop music used to be that. Yeah. Used to be kind of the positive, make you feel oh, good. Yeah. And now it's. Ain't no stopping us now. And now it's make it you feel good only if you're in the club and you're high or drunk on something. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it's just, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, heck, even, even in, I, you know, I, I know I could look through my collection of even the gangster rap songs and and point out, okay, positive lyrics, positive lyrics. This one basically sounded like a cry for help. Another cry for help. Positive yeah, lyrics, positive yeah. lyrics. I mean, okay. Obviously, I talked about Tupac having that one dirty song earlier. It's called What's Your Phone Number? But he also had songs like Keep Your Head Up, Dear Mama, you know, I mean, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And And those were songs that became hits as well. Oh, yeah. Those weren't the ones that you only heard if you bought the CD, yeah. bought the album, you know, where you'd go through and be like, oh, hey, how come they don't play this one? Th- those were makes ones that became wonder, hits. Makes me wonder if uh, young rappers respect their moms. I don't I don't know because I mean you had Biggie with Sky's the Limit you know uh, you know songs like that I'm like yes okay they had their cl- they had their club hits too I mean obviously Tupac California Love I mean even um How do you want it but then even the third verse of How do you How do you want it is talking about the politicians yeah trying to shut them down yeah and unfortunately I'm sorry Tupac it helped lead to some of this other crap where they're just like, hey, freedom of speech, I can say whatever I want. But, you know, uh, you could still find good, positive lyrics from those guys. They're DMX songs that are like that. Yeah. Now, some of his better ones haven't been put out as hits, and those are the ones that he's put typically at the end of his album where it's like him having a conversation with God. Yeah. Now, there was one, I think a video was made, and unfortunately it didn't last very long, Lord, Give Me a Sign. That was a Lord, really good one. Lord, Give Me a Sign! Yeah, I play that one yeah. a lot. I have that one. But I also didn't have to edit that song. Um, but then he's had, uh, you know, um, why am I drawing a blank on what some of these are called? Um, he had He had the one where he's talking about, you know, his horrible upbringing and he's trying to be better and whatever yeah. and... Unfortunately, I cannot think of the name of that one, but it was on, I think, his third album. But, you know, and then you even listen to the lyrics of Stop Being Greedy, which sounds like a evil, angry song. Yeah. But then you listen to some of the things he says in there, and it's basically saying, just like, hey, like the line says, stop being greedy. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? I mean, you you can find some. Bone Thugs, Making Crossroads. That was a monster hit. Yeah. I mean, that's where most people who knew who the heck Bone Thugs and Harmony was was yeah, Crossroads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was their second album. That kind of stuff will not be hits anymore. Man, it makes you wonder. They want to hear well, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane. Well, even think <laughs> about uh, years ago, the uh, early 2000s, when they got all of the pop artists together to redo Marvin Gaye, What's Going On? Yeah, yeah. But you know something? But, you know? And, and so even a song like that, you get all of those people together, and they still made that. You know, or remade that, added in, I think they even added in a couple of the verses, because I think even Nas has a verse in there that's obviously not a Marvin Gaye one, yeah. but, you know, it, so they were still able to take a positive song, bring all of these new artists together, but now it's like, I tell you what, man. though, man, and it's not just black people, the music that's happening. Too. Oh, no, I'll definitely give you an not. example. I remember years ago, pop, co- pop country is disgusting. Yeah. Years <laughs> ago, you know, a friend of mine who, uh, he's like in his, Probably 
late 40s to early 50s now i remember mm. him saying to me how could you all listen to reggae music and be revolutionary it is so calm it is so soothing you know i like my angry stuff like punk music where we scream burn it down burn yeah. it down and yeah. i was like uh, have you gotten anywhere burning mm-hmm. stuff down yeah you know when you listen to reggae it's slow it's sometimes it's a little angry but it's slow and calm enough to go and start thinking mm-hmm. about stuff instead of reacting to stuff yeah you know what I mean? And it, well, in this country, we 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 want to. It, hey, it's all about payback. It's all about the vengeance. But ain't nobody doing anything. No, that's, I know. The, that's the point. That all it, it, all it's doing is okay. I got back at you. Later, you're gonna get back at me. Yeah. And then somebody on my side's then gonna get back at you. And then somebody on your side's gonna get back at us. Yeah. And it, that that's all it does. A vicious just, cycle yeah, continues. Yeah, just going back and forth. You know, but. You know. Uh, but there is good music out there. I mean, you know, and, and, and you really it. have to dig for it, though. Which, but, which, but see, which, which is which is the sad part. That's the thing, though. You don't really have to dig for it. You just have to get away from what's being played here. <laughs> well, <laughs> because yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to dig see, for because it. Because <laughs> it's really easy for you to find conscious rap music in uh, in England. Mm. It's re- now, those are the ones well, that are getting played on the radio. Yeah, but exa- but that's the thing though. As far as here, yeah, you're not going to find that here. Yeah, I that's know. what I'm talking about. Obviously, you've got to go searching for it on YouTube and other places. Yeah. But you know, as far as if you wanted to just turn on a radio station here playing rap, unless they decide, hey, we're going to play a classic one. Here's an old one from Tupac. Keep your head up. You're not going to hear that. Yeah, and I tell you what too. I've noticed like there's some rappers, uh, younger rappers, that people go, "Man, he's deep, man, he's deep." And then you listen to the dude talk, and he used a ton of words out of context. <laughs> words I was using when I was. But that's years deep, old, man. But that's really, deep. Yeah. It it just buried me in something that I didn't understand. So uh, it's yeah. deep. No, I'm really confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And. Uh, it's just crazy how, you know. Well, and then you've got somebody like Nipsey Hussle. Now, granted, I don't know a whole lot of his music, but then the things he was trying to do outside of that. He's got a new one with uh, um, uh, DJ Colleen. Uh, <laughs> 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 but it's a really good one. And there's yeah, there's some the decent thing. stuff that DJ Khaled yeah. has put out. But, but, but the one he did with Buju Bantan, oh, yeah. God, that's horrible. Is it really? That's bad. Oh, man. No. Hey, and, hey, not, hey. and not the good bad, right? No, no. Not Michael, Khalid, ja- not Michael Jackson's bad? Khalid, leave reggae <laughs> alone. <laughs> Leave reggae alone. It's not going to be a cash cow. I'm sorry. You know, well, well, I, well, I, just stay away from the Mollies. Don't go taint them. <laughs> <laughs> because them kids are doing uh, some conscious stuff. They're doing some cool, good stuff. Lyrics that says something. Mm-hmm. Leave them alone, Khalid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that thing? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it does seem like you can always count on the Marley's for something. Yeah, yeah, check this out, man. The dude is in the video. And he's got on all khaki with the Rasta patches all over mm-hmm. him. Dude, when you commercialize it, you all commercialize the, the word N-word. No, you want to commercialize spirituality, Rasta vibe? Come on. Yeah. Well, you got to make your money off of it, right? That that that's I the whole that's the whole idea though. of Americans and capitalism. For, remember for a while there, Drake was trying to talk like a Jamaican and stuff. Yeah, that didn't go anywhere. Uh, you know, I remember Snoop was like, "Yeah, I smoke ganja." Snoop so, Lion. You know, yeah, I smoke yeah. ganja. So you know, uh, I could just go in there, and that's another thing. I'm black. I'll fit in, dude. It's a spirituality. You gotta fit mm. into the spirituality, not and the just color. Just because you smoke bud doesn't do it. You know what I mean? So he go over there and they say, "Snoop Dogg, eh, eh, eh." It's going to be Snoop Lion from here on out yeah. because the dog is not one of the best, uh, you know what I mean, mm. animals. That's why they call men dogs when they sleep around. You don't call somebody a lion when he sleep around. You, li- you know, yeah. a lion is king of the jungle, you know. Yeah. A dog is whore of the world. <laughs> well, unfortunately for America, it, well, for a lot of, actually, I would probably say around the world even, yeah, like the line from uh, History of the World Part One, Mel Brooks. It's good to be the king. You yeah, know, you get to be the king. You can go do whatever you, you know want. What you I can mean? go do whoever you want. Oh, like in coming to America, Your Highness, the royal bleep 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 is no clean. <laughs> 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 bleep bleep bleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, uh, well, again, that's just rich people thinking they can do whatever they want. Yep, yep, uh, but. You listen to the Rude Boys and thing you gonna hear like, and we mm-hmm. have party music too. We yeah, have we calypso do. music where we only dance and that. And yeah, even calypso music have conscious music. Yeah, exactly. It, it it can be let's have a party without 
beating everybody up. Yeah. You know, like, what you was know? that? Grab something and run. I mean, it's just people picking up stuff and running around <laughs> acting stupid. You know what I mean? That's what a party is yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. You, you you pick up stuff and you run around and act stupid. Not drunk and grabbing women's bum and mm-hmm. running around and trying to uh, fall on women. I'm not saying the slackness is not in there because mm-hmm. people complain home that there's way too much slackness going on in Carnival now. You, Everybody's in a skimpy outfit. You, you, you have found some dirty ones. Oh, I'll yeah. say that. You have definitely yeah. found some dirty ones. But you again, th- those are ones that we've reserved for when we have decided to do the dirty hour. But and they don't get played on the radio there. And I think yeah. that's that's what's, that's what's the way it is in London, too, in England. Mm-hmm. You don't really play the dirty stuff on, on BBC radio mm-hmm. or the radio stations. Here, it seems like the smuttier it is, the more play you're going to get. Oh, yeah. You know. You know? But, uh, and, and that's why, you know, when you can get something like KES Endless Summer. Yeah. You know, it's like they, it, it's, uh, they can make party music while sounding dreamy. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. okay, I'm not in a club just going, brruh, brruh, and you're doing whatever. It's like, no, we're sitting out on the beach and having fun, you know. And yeah. Stuff, you know. Yeah. And it just, man, I don't. Man, oh, man. You know, and, then, you. and then obviously, okay, as far as the lover, the lover's rock music that we play, you know, and, that, and that's where, like, what we were talking about, too, just a little bit ago, where it's love songs now seem to be mostly the guy saying, I'm going to do this to you. Yeah, and you are gonna like it because I'm just that damn good. See, that's the ones they're playing. Uh, but mm-hmm. searching all through the stuff, the women are saying this too. You want this body? Oh, yeah, you yeah. want this? You <laughs> want this? You know? Yeah. And but it's like the stuff that we play. Okay, boys to men, I'll make love to you. Yeah. But that's you listen to those lyrics, and it's not we're gonna be as you say, was yeah. it Bangalore all night? Yeah, you know, yeah. Or something no, like that, no you know? Bangalore all yeah, night. Yeah. Too, you, know? you know, and so it's... No joke you know, me, joke me. Yeah, Jay Holiday, you know... I yeah, saw an interview got... with him here recently. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> was it Jay Holiday? He... Yeah, yeah, it was mm. Jay Holiday. He's from D.C., right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it was him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, old Jaheem, I mean, we, you know... And then you've got... Ja Cure and Bill yeah, and yeah. you know and uh, yeah, Bar- I mean, Barris yeah, they're still making music. Uh, Barris Hammond, Barris still Hammond making music. is just like the classic. Let's of, not forget you know. uh, Romain Virgo. Oh, yeah. he's a he's a young star dude. across the sky. Yeah, man. and he's got Ooh. new ones out too now. Hey, you know what I mean? Some and, good stuff. Yeah, you know they sing love songs. Mm-hmm. You know they don't real go real <laughs> love songs. Not not I'm gonna you're not you're my personal toy. Yeah, you know you what know? I mean. <clears throat> yeah. You know you know you're not gonna trump a girl. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Way to just slide that one right in there. <laughs> Uh, don't oh, get it man. twisted. I ain't no liberal by any stretch of the imagination. No. Liberals, uh, far, far right liberals don't like me. You neither. mean far left? But, well, far right's the conservatives. I know, but is there a difference? <laughs> well, one, th- one is you know, one hand, one's the other hand. Well, I, I, I think they both you know hands. Funny? Hang on, hang on a second. Okay, we've got the far right hand and we've got the far left hand, but what's in the middle? The brain, yeah. The brain hasn't made it to the left hand or the right yeah, hand. What yeah. is that telling you? The electric uh, current stopped. Somewhere. The hands yeah. need to come back here to the middle and yeah. meet with the brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you, man. I don't know that one. I just had an epiphany. Right hand over here, left hand over here, but the brain's in the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah. They need to slap but, themselves <laughs> from both sides. <laughs> Plap. You know what I mean? Yep. But uh, I don't know, um, man. I, like, yeah. I mean, we so like we like we said we we try to get. Um, music that you know a little positive or whatever and but not so much th- yeah and, and not if you want to listen to smut you're not going to get it from us no you know and obviously if you want to hear stuff that's full of all the cuss words well then we're not the right show either yeah, because we are yeah. non-commercial we are not just strictly a web thing so all of our stuff has to be edited and even if we get the going on the web you're yeah. not going to hear that yeah because i mean i and it's not because we're prudes mm-hmm. Because we want to hear the message in the music. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you know. that can get blinded when you hear just a yeah. whole bunch of cuss words. Yeah. And, I, okay, I've, I've, I obviously have some songs that I play that I have had to clean up. Yeah. But, you know, it, it seems like once you can take away some of the F-bombs and other things like that, then you go, huh. You know, but... but so, well, some of the artists anymore, even like you said, even when they try to have something that sounds like they're trying to get a, an actual good point across, 
basically it's going to be bleep 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 oh, bleep. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, like what what exactly are you going to hear out of that? Every every fourth word might finally be able to get actually put on radio. Can you imagine if Nat King Cole was singing Rambling Rose and here bleep 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 bleep. <laughs> Bleep and rub. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Mr. Stelio Rose, you know? <laughs> yeah. What's uh, what, 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 what's what's that Christmas one? The chestnuts? chestnuts? Bleeping chestnuts roasting yeah. over a bleeping fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, though. No. Or uh, I'd like to roast your chestnuts. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> That's probably what they do. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, because you know, chest. No, no, no. Well, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, so. <laughs> we are the rude boys. No. Yeah, but you know, man, you know, and, and, yeah, they, 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 it's not really hard to find good music, really. You know what's funny, though, is even though, when, like, okay, when I go to YouTube, and I have played some of those ones that you have sent me, or I've even found some others that are like that. Still, every time when I go on there, the stuff that shows up on the site is, no, I don't want to listen to Drake. No, I don't want to listen to the Migos. No, I don't want to li- Why are these coming up on? This is not what I want. Yeah. You know. It's the algorithms in YouTube that make And I don't it. understand that. Why the, yeah. okay, you know. <clears throat> I, mm, well, it, I it, might, I it wouldn't be so much payola, but they want what's <clears throat> popular to show up so that people would come looking. Yeah, I know. I, and <clears throat> you Like, know, I have a YouTube channel. I haven't put up anything on it in the longest while. Yeah. Because, no, I've, because I've got one that I obviously had been putting sports stuff up on, and I don't think see, I've put stuff on there for a because while. Because here's what I see with it, okay? They said they're cracking down. Mm-hmm. But if the person is really popular, they play the music anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're cracking down on poor people. Mm-hmm. That's what they're doing. Yeah, you're that, you're you not know. you're not gonna see a uh, Migos song disappear off of there, or know. Drake or whatever. No, yeah, no, or, 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 or most, uh, post. I almost say Moses Malone, <laughs> that post was a basketball Malone. player. <laughs> yeah, I mean him, or obviously Cardi B. I mean that stuff's gonna end up on there. I don't want. I'm not gonna say anything. You know, my mom says if you don't have anything good to say, don't say it at all. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna say anything about Cardi B. I I tried listening to her stuff and I not can't. A fan. So. You know what I mean? Not a fan. But so, yeah. it seems like every girl. We want to be Cardi. Lo- well, that, well, not just that, but loves it. And they know all the words. Because they think it's girl power. It used to be girl <sighs> power. It's like, I am woman, hear me roll. The mm-hmm. number's too big to ignore. <laughs> no, it's like, you know, uh, yeah, drop it here. Ooh, ooh, here. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh. And I'm the biggest B word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, yeah. I'm a bad B. That too. That That's the one that they, they like to say. I'm mm-hmm. a bad B. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, wow. That used to be a bad word to call a girl. Yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to date no bad Bs. <clears throat> because all you all are going to do is get me shot. In trouble. Or told in jail. <laughs> yep. You know. I, you you want to run your mouth like Cardi B? Go get you some Cardi B, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over this way. You know what I mean? Far from me. Because uh-huh. when the bullets fly, you on your own, sister. Mm-hmm. You know, forget chivalry. <laughs> chivalry goes to a point. Yeah, when my life is in danger, chivalry. It depends on how. Yes. You know, if we're in a place and a, and a random dude starts shooting, chivalry comes in. Mm-hmm. But if you're out there running your mouth and carrying on and act <clears throat> like a bad beat, and you don't stop, yeah. No matter how yeah, many, no mean. matter how many times somebody tells you, "Hey, you better quit." Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the vibe, you know. That's what that whole we got. I gotta keep it real. But you know, you're gonna be real dead in a minute. Mm. That's what. Yeah, I'm gonna be really alive. But anyway, <laughs> man, we better cut this down here. You know <laughs> what I mean? Thank you guys for tuning in and mm-hmm. ting and ting. You know, and uh, also check out our website. It's called the Rude Boys Rant. Dot com. Dot com. Also. Go to our Facebook page so you're going to know when we're on on our show that we play music on. Yeah. And it's called The Road Boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, check that out, and we're going to have the updates. We put up all kinds of cool stuff on there, like mm-hmm. peaceful stuff. Because I mean, we ain't trying to follow the trend where everybody's yeah. like, you know, bad. Some photos yeah. that'll make you go, ha. Ah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Look photos that'll that. make you respect the you world. Know, around the you know, the ones you keep putting up of Greece make me want to move to Greece. I know, dude. I mean, the colors there I and know. everything. Wow. 
wow. Yeah, and, and there's more of that in the world than the dark side yeah. of the world. And you know what's funny is every time I see another one come up before I scroll all the way through to where, you know, you'll see yeah. something grease down at the bottom, I see it and I go, that's got to be grease. Yeah. Yep, it's grease. <laughs> Your mom is loving it, man. Oh, she's, well, like, she's I've been, been there. I know yeah. she, keeps, she keeps putting that oh, on yeah. my Facebook page. I've been there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? mean? So I mean, some of those places just make you go, wow. Yeah. Wow. Also, uh, what is uh, uh, also? Oh, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, so I remember it's every Monday, and then every Wednesday we have Wednesday rewind. And now I'm gonna start chucking in a little bit of stuff here, maybe Saturday here and there, just little mm-hmm. funny stuff of the mm-hmm. rude boys of old shows, and all of that. You know, we, that's we've funny. got some, we've got some old uh, highlight montage. <laughs> Quote highlight montages yeah. that are more or less us just laughing and screw ups and whatever else that we that we yeah. had some fun with, but uh, we can probably even put some of those up there. Those yeah. are generally short, though. Yeah, they're generally um, short, so it's going to be a montage of it. Well, even the even each individual one is yeah. a montage, and they're only yeah. like a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes at yeah. the most. But um, but it's you know moments when we cracked up or when yeah. we stuttered over words or you know whatever else and made funny noises. And yeah. You know, but so, yeah, you know, we we've tuned. we've had a lot of fun with this show. Over we did the miss one yep. upload this uh this month. So that's not gonna happen again. I uh Well, I've been gone a lot too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean those I've, last two weeks were just kind of a blur for me. Yeah. I mean, you know, we we finish up at home against Florida Atlantic and then turn right around and go down to Birmingham, make it all the way to the championship game on Saturday. Unfortunately, we didn't win. Then we come back, and a couple of days later, we sh- ship right back off to Lynchburg, Virginia, for for another tournament there. And I so, sometimes I have a hard time differentiating between the two tournaments. It's been weird. Yeah. Like I have to think, oh wait a minute, we played Rutgers that day. That was definitely not the conference tournament. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know. But man, I I still I'm, I'm gonna add this in real quick here at the end. I'm I'm really proud of that team because. Pretty much nothing was expected of them. You yeah. know, another coaching change. We lost two of the best players we've ever had in our whole program history with Alicia and McCord graduating. And we get picked to finish eighth in the Conference USA preseason polls, which basically means, well, we think you're going to get into the tournament. And if you do, you'll probably be the first team out. And instead, we got in as the four seed, fought our way all the way to the championship game, even after dropping down into the bottom bracket, fought our way back in, got into another tur- postseason tournament. Unfortunately, it wasn't the NCAA, but it's one they're trying to build up. You know, lost that first game, fought our way back into the championship, but, you know, lot lost that game. But I, those girls were so exhausted that day. I mean, I, I kind of had a bad feeling going into the game just – you know, thinking of how tired they were because it was a hot day too, and we didn't get much sleep the night before. But um, it was it was one that I could definitely, especially as the game kept going, I could definitely tell we were going to lose. But I did not see them stop trying. You could still see the heart was there, but some of the physicality wasn't quite behind it yeah, because yeah. It just they they just ran out of gas. But they did so much this year. They broke so many records. I'm going to be posting stuff all summer on uh, at Herd SB on Twitter as well as Marshall University Softball on Facebook of all the different things that they did this year, all the records they broke. Right now I've got plans for 16 different videos and 15 different graphics. And the graphics might also be kind of a half graphic, half video type of thing. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, I mean, they, they did so much. I'm I'm so proud of this group. All right. So, cool. you know, cool. and I've, I was so – privileged to be able to call so many of their games this year and um got so many compliments too on my broadcast as well so love that see everybody that. is doing pretty really good you know yep, what i mean yep. thing. so uh, so yeah you know what i mean and also also people i've got what four books out there mm-hmm. now uh i'm a dirty immigrant also not, not just his name on the show yeah 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 that's the name of the book and the name of the documentary that i'm in <clears throat> yeah also there's one called obia and there's one called larger bless mm-hmm. and i've just uh published a book of and i'm self-publishing it because mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but anyway <laughs> one called while the bombs drop and it's actual poems that i wrote while uh 
Reagan intervention was happening. Mm-hmm. And I, I wrote it. I didn't Lit, change anything. Literally, while the bombs dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't change anything. I didn't go in there and pick a word here and stick a word there and make it for effect. I just wrote mm-hmm. it, and it's an emotional. And I call it thoughts more than poetry. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. that's going on there and things. So, we all doing our thing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, you know, check that out. Check out where you say he is. You could, you could, you could get my books on Amazon.com. You go there. there you go. Paperback, and the ebook. Yep. You know what I mean? So go ahead and check that out. I don't have any books. <laughs> you can just hear things that I've called. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. For broadcasts and stuff, yeah. But uh, we're going to get out of here. This is a mm-hmm. dirty immigrant. This is Scotland. And uh, tune in every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on the, at the www.marshall.edu slash WMUL. You'll hear us there talking to uh, and, uh, and the music. And uh, music. There, there, there will be unfortunately there will be a few Saturdays this summer. That, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I, I I have vacation time that if I don't take it I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. So I gotta kind dis- of course I, I gotta kind of disappear occasionally. I have, <laughs> I have another week of vacation to take, so I might disappear for a minute too. There we go. And uh, so you know, just tune in. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. We let you know. I'm starting to do book readings. So mm-hmm. who knows? You know what I mean. You might get some book readings coming on here on a little thing there. You know when I travel doing that. So uh, tune into all of that. In the meantime, don't let that system get you down. That's right. Yes, I. Salute, boys. We're out of here.